<clears throat> I think Hassan has uh, alluded to the fact that the change of uniform is not a reform. And we spoke to that uh, when it happened. And many of us felt that uh, the police, I mean, it, you only have to walk across to Tanzania and see the attitude of police person and the Kenyan police officer. You can tell the mentality that is there um, in the way they approach you, in the way they conduct, even when they are carrying out their duties. Uh, and, and I guess most, most part of this comes from the fact that we have quite a lot of impunity, uh, you know, uh, prevailing in the country. And so the police sometimes get frustrated. They know that they can make an arrest, they can make a report, nothing happened. And so they also indulge in it because they know nothing is going to happen. Yes, the reforms, some of the reforms, a lot of that work that was done by Po and the rest, uh, still lie in the cabin, has not been implemented in full. And we know there was that tension between Ipo and uh, the rest of uh, the police. Uh, and you saw, even originally, even under the constitution, the IG was supposed to be totally independent, but it was sucked into the executive. And so the, the police, you know, has not been able to gain that uh, out in view that they, they, they are an independent force. Uh, and so they are still very much held under the executive arm mm. and so carry the directions of the, 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 the state uh, at his whims. And so sometimes he used as a tool by the state. And so we are very far off in trying to reform the police so that it truly becomes a service for all. Uh, the reforms, yes, well-intentioned, well-documented, but look at the implementation. It has not gone far. All right. Mm. Uh, you talk about independence, Hashi. I want, to, I want you to come in at this, at this.